No one cares how many words per minute you can type, okay? If you're at like 70, that's fine. If you're lower, well, maybe work on that. Otherwise, nobody cares. We're not in court, we're not stenographers. We, 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 we write code here, okay? It's, it's different. I mean, we still do write a lot sometimes, but look at Google and Microsoft. They said AI writes about 30% of their code already. And these numbers will only grow. Can these claims be not 100% true? Can they profit from such claims? Well, they do sell Copilot, ChatGPT, Gemini, Firebase Studio and probably a couple others. Okay, either way, let me help you out. Wanna learn what's really important? Come, I'll show you. It's shortcuts. This video is about shortcuts. Let's quickly go through some basic shortcuts and then we'll move on to more advanced and more fun stuff. Disclaimers. I mostly use JetBrains products. However, since VS Code is the most popular editor, I will be showing the examples in VS Code. Everything that I show here is also possible in any JetBrains product as well as in any VS Code fork-like cursor. I'm recording this on Windows, so if you're on Mac, you probably just need to swap Control for Command and Alt for Option. Ctrl plus C copies the text. If nothing is selected, you will copy the entire line. Ctrl plus X cuts the text. Also useful for deleting a line. Ctrl plus V paste the recently copied or cut text. F12 goes to the declaration. Shift F12 shows the references. Alt plus right and left arrow moves between recent cursor locations. Ctrl plus slash adds or removes comment. Ctrl plus backtick opens and closes the terminal. Multicursor, as the name suggests, is when you have multiple cursors. Let me show you how to use it. The easiest way to create multiple cursors is to just hold down the scroll wheel and move your mouse, use Ctrl plus Alt plus up and down arrow, or hold Alt and left click. But there's also a different way that's usually more useful. Let's go to the keyboard settings first. Look at Add Selection to find Next Match. This is Ctrl plus D by default. To remove recently added selection, look for Cursor Undo. Ctrl plus U by default. Okay, now we need to select something. Let's select this word. Using the aforementioned shortcuts, I can add more cursors and just change the word in multiple places at the same time. I hear you asking, isn't this the same as find and replace? Well, no, because with this we can do many smart things, which I'm gonna show you, but first let's talk about how we select things. Let's go to options again and look for expand selection. And we have to make a detour. You see, by default in VS Code, the shortcut, at least on Windows, is Alt plus Shift plus right arrow to expand and Alt plus Shift plus left arrow to shrink selection. And this is not the first time we see arrows used in this video. I, I care about you, you know? I will never recommend you anything that requires you to move your hands to the arrows, because that's slow and I hate it. However, I already have an entire video explaining how to solve this issue. So maybe go watch it after this one, it's pretty helpful, I think. Okay, I'm done, let's go back. Let's change this shortcut. Personally, I have it under Ctrl plus W because that's the default in JetBrains and that's what I've learned. Set it to whatever you like. So now let me show you a couple of use cases. Example one, imagine you want to turn these variables into a JSON. I use multi-cursor to delete end lines and add commas. Then I select var and use Ctrl plus D to select all occurrences. Example 2. I want to delete field 2 and field 3. Note that field 3 has a different number of lines for each example. First I created three cursors to delete every second field. Then I extended selection to get every third field and deleted them as well. I already had three cursors so I just added fourth field. Sometimes when you need to rename a variable, it's better to just use the refactor tool from your ID. You won't rename all the similar variables at once, but sometimes that's a good thing. And it also works across multiple files. Let's start by opening the file tree itself. You can do this with Ctrl plus B. In VS Code, it will always be centered on the file you're looking at. Press Ctrl plus 0 to focus on the file tree and Ctrl plus 1 to focus back on the editor. Note that you can move around the file tree using arrows and the Enter key. You can also start typing to focus on the relevant file. You can directly open any file by searching for it using Ctrl plus P. This supports fuzzy search, so you don't need to type the exact name. For interpreted languages like Python, you can run the code you want directly in the Python console inside the VS Code. Simply select the text and press Shift plus Enter. As you can see, it gets run automatically. Press Ctrl plus backtick to focus back on the Python terminal and Ctrl plus 1 to focus back on the editor. If you don't select anything, the entire line will be run. 
If I left your favorite shortcut out, please let me know in the comments. I love learning about new ways to get faster. Also, this is just a small part of all the shortcuts, tricks and systems I use to be fast and productive as a software engineer. If you liked it, let me know. Leave a like, subscribe maybe, and I will create more videos like this one. Thank you, bye.